Hello Cancer, Someone Rising, and Venus, and welcome to another reading. Let's see the overall energy between you and the person that you're connecting with or will be connecting with from Cancer. All right, we have to give your relationship a chance, work on your partnership. For me as a reader, this can represent an on and off relationship between you and another person. It could also act as an advice card for somebody to give someone slash a relationship a chance, but we'll see what it's more so leaning towards. We're going to focus on you first, Cancer, and then we're going to jump over to them. Still keep in mind, you might resonate more so with the person to the right of me than you do with the person to the left of me. And that's okay. Just kind of pick and choose who you resonate more so with. How does Cancer currently view this relationship? All right. We have the Five of Cups. We also have the Queen of Swords. And then we have the Nine of Cups. You could be dealing with a Scorpio, possibly a Libra, maybe even a Pisces. How does this person currently view this relationship with cancer mm -hmm. we have temperance we also have the eight of pentacles all right so far so good and then we also have the two of wands at the bottom of the deck we do have the ten of pentacles and then we also have the nine of swords all right and then we also have the page of swords with the ten of swords and then we also have the Emperor. There could be like a slight age gap here, Cancer, between you and this person. This person might even be older than you. It doesn't necessarily have to be the case, right? But I am kind of getting a slight age gap here um, between you and this person. I kind of want to focus on this person first, Cancer, and then we'll jump over to you. The two of you are very similar in your ways. That's one thing that I will say. Now, I love the fact that the two of you are going through a massive transformation here. And I kind of feel like for the most part this massive transformation that the both of you are going through it's actually kind of leading the both of you in the right direction especially when it comes down to the relationship that the two of you share with one another let's focus on this person first when it comes down to how this person's currently viewing this relationship i kind of feel like for the most part this person did kind of enter this relationship with a boatload of doubts and reservations especially because this is somebody who kind of comes off to me as somebody who's basically looking for somebody that they could build a life with and settle down with and it just kind of looks like this person hasn't had like the best of experiences obviously prior to you but it just kind of looks like this relationship um, is causing this person to basically feel like with you there is a strong possibility that they can be able to go off and establish a life with you which I kind of feel like it is kind of giving this person you know a lot of hope that's one thing that I will say especially because this is somebody who kind of comes off to me as you know somebody who has experienced a lot of disappointment obviously prior to you and it just kind of looks like it has put this person in this place of not really wanting to put themselves out there not really wanting to you know go off and establish romantic relationships with people based off of their past experiences with other people but now that you're in the picture right it just kind of looks like you know this person feels like there is a strong possibility that you could be somebody that they could basically create and establish a life with now i kind of feel like at times this person tends to kind of question things along the way but i don't necessarily feel like um that's basically going to ruin the relationship that the two of you currently share with one another. I just kind of feel like at times this person might even feel like this whole entire situation between you and them might be a little bit too good to be true. But I love the fact that the both of you are moving into this place of acceptance, especially when it comes down to the relationship that the two of you share with one another. Now, when it comes down to you, Cancer, you have the Five of Cups with the Queen of Swords and the Nine of Cups. This is a very positive sign because this is kind of telling me that you're making that conscious decision to not focus on your past disappointments and the relationships that you've had prior to this person. You're currently choosing to focus on this person and how the relationship in itself makes you feel. But I feel like the both of you are going through this transformation, which is a really good thing because it's going to benefit your relationship with one another. So I love the fact that the both of you are just kind of moving into this place of acceptance that the relationship that the two of you share doesn't compare to what the two of you have experienced prior to one another. I feel like this relationship makes you very happy, but I also feel like this relationship makes this person very happy as well. How does Cancer feel? Okay. We have the Two of Cups. We also have the Hierophant. And then we have the Seven of Swords. It's about to get serious. 
How does this person feel? Yeah. Whoever this person is, I really do like this person for you. That's one thing that I will say. I really do like this person for you, especially because this person's showing up uh, with temperance on their side. That's kind of telling me that this is somebody who genuinely has your best interest at heart. This is somebody who's not fucking around, okay, Cancer? This is somebody who's really serious about building and establishing a life with you, okay? Now, for some of you, you might question, you know, whether or not that is the case that this person really does want something serious with you, but this is that type of person that's definitely going to really prove themselves to you. I mean, this is somebody who means what they say. If they tell you that they want to be with you, it's because they want to be with you. If they tell you that they want to create a life with you, it's because they want to create a life with you. And this is not that type of person that comes off to me as somebody who's just here to tell you what it is that you want to hear. I mean, this is that type of person that's all about that action. If they tell you that they want to be with you, they're going to start displaying, you know, these actions towards you like they really do want to be with you. And you're going to start to really see that. I kind of feel like that's why you're showing up as a seven of swords and the hair of and the two of cups. That's kind of telling me that things are starting to get serious here between you and them. And it is kind of causing you to have cold feet. It's like the best way that I can kind of describe what it is that I'm seeing. Now, I don't feel like this Seven of Swords is you basically self-sabotaging a really good thing here between you and this person. I just kind of feel like you're starting to kind of get cold feet just a little bit. But again, when it comes down to the relationship and how the relationship in itself makes you feel, it makes you feel really, really good. I just kind of feel like you might experience that where you might start to get cold feet and you might start to feel like, oh my God, look, I don't know if I can do this, you know, but you totally can. Just apply pressure onto yourself to see this relationship through. Because you got a good thing, Cancer. You got a good thing. What actions will Cancer take towards this person or moving forward? We have the Ace of Wands. Very nice. With the Queen of Wands. And then we also have the Four of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Oh my gosh. I love how this is actually coming to an end, to be completely honest. The fact that you're showing up as the Ace of Wands and the Queen of Wands with the Four of Swords this is kind of telling me that you're very determined, actually, to see this relationship through. I think that this relationship makes you feel good. I think that, you know, you can definitely see that this is somebody who is definitely taking you serious. This is somebody who basically means what they say. I mean, this is somebody who really does want to establish and create a life with you. Now, even though you're going to find yourself, you know, experiencing the whole cold feet syndrome um, and your doubts and your reservations might start to really get the best of you within the situation because you're so determined to see this relationship through and not self-sabotage a good thing here between you and this person, it is going to allow ultimately your relationship relationship to continue to grow and blossom here with this person in particular but with the world and the ten of swords and the eight of swords and the two of wands and the nine of wands being out here this is kind of telling me that moving forward your doubts your reservations about this person in particular are going to basically go away because you're going to find yourself in that place cancer of having that peace of mind that the person that you're actually gravitating towards a person that you know you're trying to establish this life with is actually somebody who's worth it in the end especially because this is not one of those situations cancer where it's one-sided this is somebody who wants to be with you just as much as you want to be with them which is a good thing right because you're not gravitating towards somebody who's iffy about you you know what i mean Even even though, yes, this person tends to really question things along the way, this is somebody who still comes off to me as somebody who's very consistent, very persistent when it comes down to what it is that they want with you. So moving forward, you know, if you currently find yourself in this place of really questioning a lot of things when it comes down to this person, their motives towards you, I kind of see you stepping into this energy of having that peace of mind that the person that you're actually gravitating towards actually does have your best interests at heart. And this is somebody who actually does want to establish a life with you. So if you currently find yourself like like I said, questioning things, you know, fearful that you're going to get hurt and disappointed by this person. I see you jumping into this energy of feeling 100% confident within this relationship between you and this person and proceeding forward within this connection here between you and this person, which is always a good sign to see. That's for sure. What actions will this person take towards cancer and moving forward? We have the death card. We also have the three of wands. And then we have the nine of pentacles. I really do like this person. I feel like you can learn a whole lot from this person. This is that type of person that comes off to me as somebody who knows exactly what it is that they want. Not only for themselves, but the relationship that they basically want with you. I feel like this is somebody who's ready. 
okay this is somebody who comes off to me as somebody who's basically ready to establish a life with you and i kind of feel like because this person is the way that they are it's going to definitely inspire you to gravitate towards them even more because of the type of individual that they are this is just somebody who comes off to me as somebody who knows what it is that they want and they're ready they're ready for whatever it is that the future has in store here between you and them. So I love the fact that the both of you are basically ending on the same page. It's pretty evident that the both of you really do want this relationship to work. And I see everybody honestly putting in the time, energy, and effort to keep this relationship intact and afloat. To be completely honest, I don't necessarily feel like you need any advice. It kind of looks like, you know, for the most part, yes, you're going through, you know, this whole having your doubts and having your reservations, but the fact that that you're dealing with this type of individual this whole person is going to give you basically the reassurance that you need and it, it to, to be completely honest it's not like this person's constantly like reassuring you that you know everything's going to be okay and that they want to be with you no i just kind of feel like through this person's actions alone it's going to cause you to feel like okay yeah like this is somebody who's actually serious about me this is not somebody that i need to worry about um and you're just going to start to feel that way through this person's actions alone they don't have to tell you and constantly reassure you that they love you and that they care about you and that they want a future with you through their actions alone you're going to be able to tell that okay this is somebody who's serious about me so moving forward cancer it kind of looks like things are going to continue to grow and evolve here between you and them i see you very open and receptive to this person and i see this person very open and receptive to you like i said i don't feel like you need the advice just continue to push past your doubts and your reservations continue to gravitate towards this person you know don't allow things of the past to get in your way especially when it comes down to what you could definitely Definitely have here with this person because this relationship between you and this person it looks very very promising but it does require you cancer to push past your doubts and your reservations about this person so apply pressure onto yourself when you start to feel like oh my god like I can't do this what if this person disappoints me do the complete opposite gravitate towards this person have faith that in the end everything's going to work out and you'll see that everything in the end will work out here between you and this person especially because of the type of person that you're dealing with this is somebody who knows what they want they're not indecisive about you this is not that type of person that has one foot in and one foot out when it comes down to you this is somebody who clearly wants you and a life with you and only you you which is a good thing to see all right so hopefully this reading resonates with you hopefully it brings you some clarity in regards to whoever it is that you're connecting with or will be connecting with good luck to the both of you of course and i will see you guys in your next reading bye